Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but this microphone's so delightful. And since we no place to go, let's be oh, let's be oh, let's be oh. Hi, I'm Scott Burns, inviting you to another VoiceOver Basics for Bookings. And I'm inviting you to set aside two hours of your Saturdays for six weeks to learn, practice, and love the art of voiceover. And yes, it is an art. Because by definition, art is an experience consciously created through an expression of skill or imagination. This is your world, your creation. Right. Think about that for just a moment. Other creatives like writers, videographers, advertising agencies are all seeking that one element that's going to put the cherry on top of all the ideas and imagination they've pulled together so far, which happens to be your voice. But it's not just your voice. No, they're, they're looking for somebody who can bring authentic emotion, excitement, or pure entertainment to their masterpiece, all as if it was coming from your personal point of view. So, how do you get there? Well, through auditioning, received through talent agents and online casting sites. Then there are the ubiquitous pay-to-play and freelancer sites. Another means is self-marketing, letting the world know that your voice can be their choice. Yeah, but don't use that. So welcome to the party. <laughs> there are a lot of people out there on this planet that are vying for that same job that you are. So the question remains, how do you stand out amongst the crowd to grab, hold, and win the attention and possible booking of the voice buyer? I'm so glad you asked. That's what VoiceOver Basics for Bookings is all about. A six-week journey where we explore performance techniques pertaining to advertising commercials, narrations for film, television, corporations, as well as educational tutorials and e-learning. We'll also cover acting for animation and games, a genre so popular these days and one I'm proud to say I've been lucky enough to have gained significant recognition for. Scott, come on up here. Woo! Guys, let's hear it. This is Bowser, the original Bowser from Mario Brothers. Scott Burns is in the house. Fun fact, they didn't want me playing him too mean because there'd be kids playing the game, so I adapted a growl to my Santa Claus voice. Ho, 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 ho! Mario! How dare you disturb my family vacation! Now, can AI do that? I am not jealous. It is a human emotion. Now, there will be homework, and for this, you'll need some form of recording and editing software, because during the week, you'll receive fake or faux auditions. I call them faux editions. It'll be very important to read the specs and follow directions because there are protocols you need to follow or you run the risk of them maybe tossing your submission into the trash before it even reaches their ears. And it's been known to happen. Not so much with self-marketing though. That's where we'll cover getting your voice directly to companies and individuals who use voice actors for their products, goods, and services. Can AI do all that? Oh, McDonald's had a fun A-I-A-I-O. Well, maybe if it's for farming. All I know is you better hurry and get in on VoiceOver Basics for Bookings. January 13th through February 17th, 2024, there is a limit of eight people for this winter class. Scott makes the process so enjoyable and so smooth and he's such a pro he helped me find my place as a voice actor and i feel really really grateful for that if scott burns was an environment he would be a safe space i still chuckle thinking about some of the vocal antics he got me to do his uh, willingness to educate and mentor and help is absolutely tremendous and he believes that you can be more than what you already are and he's really good at getting you to believe that too. I was able to give a good performance in front of them without being nervous, right? Um, I think that was, that was invaluable. Scott has ways of helping you get grounded and rooted into what you're supposed to be doing that might not be your natural delivery. You know, he claims that I always had the chops for it, but I had no concept of how to do what I needed to do. Well, my microphone doesn't like popping. That's why these screens were designed to stop them. So if you want to learn some more, let's be old, let's be old, let's be old. That was kind of a dumb lyric, Pally. 